Welcome to TRS Clips, India's fastest learning portal. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon. My absolute favorite show, it might even be my all-time favorite show, really. Above The Last Dance, above Entourage, above Silicon Valley. I'm not hyping it up. It's called Dave. So back in college, a friend of mine told me about a rapper called Lil Dicky who he said was the new Eminem. He's a white rapper. And with respect to Lil Dicky, he wasn't signed by a record label. So he actually grew his career out of YouTube by growing his YouTube channel and releasing his music independently. When I was growing up, there was an artist called Weird Al Yankovic who just made parodies on mainstream songs. You know, in India, we had Devang Patel. Devang Patel was inspired by someone called Weird Al Yankovic. So your first impression of Lil Dicky is that he is the modern day Weird Al Yankovic. But when you begin to see this show, your assumptions initially are validated. You think that, yeah, it's a funny show. It's weird. The first scene of the show is about how Lil Dicky visits a doctor and talks about a problem that he has with his own penis. The show starts like that with weird, awkward humor. And you start enjoying it. And then as you go through the first season, you realize, okay, this is a slightly deeper show than just comedy. Every episode addresses one male insecurity. In season one, it's all about male insecurity. The different insecurities that men have. Penis size, salary, comparison to their own friends, heartbreak, rejection, childhood trauma. Every episode actually addresses these really deep and kind of dark themes, but carries you through with a little hint of humor. And that's what I love about this show. Season two is not funny. Season two has funny moments, but it's mostly an intense show in season two. Again, you're not expecting this, but it's just one of those fantastic show experiences that people have when they watch Dave. This is not sponsored. It's available on Disney Plus Hotstar in India. Highly recommend you watch it. I've recommended it to both Ayan Mukherjee and Shakun Batra and they both loved it. They loved the writing. They loved the filmmaking.